Oh, and here's the fun part. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Hershey's Garage Plus Guns. And on today's daily internet dose of cars and guns news, I've got an awesome one here for you. Uh, and uh, this is what happens when you don't listen to your mom and dad when they say, hey, stealing's not very, uh, not very cool. <laughs> so, on to the video here. This is from msn.com. And uh, basically, this actually goes to show you how fast somebody can steal your catalytic converter for one. And I've, I've talked about this issue in the past and I'll link a, a, a video that I did in the past on this very topic. Yeah, and this just goes to show you how easy you can become that victim. And it only takes a few seconds, but just be advised they get their little just desserts in the end. So let's go watch the video and uh, we'll, we'll see uh, how long it takes and uh, what, what, uh, what these guys, what kind of justice they get. All right, so it looks like we got a couple of nice dudes coming around here to check out this uh, little Ford here, expedition, expedition or excursion or something like that, something big. And so far, it's been a couple of seconds. Oh, and they're already underneath there. Ready to do some cutting. And you'll hear her in a second. Yep. Oh, trip to the alarm. Ah, no biggie. We'll just keep going on what we're doing. Oh, and here's the fun part. Yeah. And we will stop it right there because there's some, a few choice words, which I don't fault the homeowners for. It's these two guys right there. And uh, they, looks like they come out with the old paintball uh, gun to, teach these guys a, a little lesson. And I believe it said that uh, the guys were okay. They took off. Not sure if they were caught, but yeah, they're pretty pretty uh, sore. But they did get their just desserts because uh, you don't steal from people. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward just a little bit because like I said, they have a few bad words in here and I wanna keep this a little family friendly, so. I want to, I had to show you kind of the best part for me and the, the funniest part is, is uh, the old uh, little fist bump or high five or shoulder tap that these guys do because uh, they uh, figured they did a job well done. Watch this. Bam! I thought that was, uh, that was pretty cool because uh, the good guys won on this one. Uh, bad guys zero. So if you want to watch the, the full video though, I'll link this uh, article below uh, in the video. So you'll, you'll be able to check it out for yourself. But uh, like I said, I just thought that was uh, pretty hilarious, but I won't let you end on this note. I got to show you something. Uh, uh, I mean, this was positive, but I got to show you something a, a little more, a little more positive. Um, and uh, let's look at the, uh, Oh, RoboCop's car. Do you guys remember that old film? I'm kind of dating myself, but uh, the original RoboCop. And it was, uh, the vehicle in there was called the 6000 SUX. Well, it looks like we got some pictures of it. And it looks like it's, uh, I guess, sitting in somebody's uh, yard or, or uh, I don't know. Let's, let's read on. But here's, here's what it looks like now. And I guess they've still taking care of it which is pretty cool but look at that thing isn't that the ugliest thing you ever seen 
uh, I'm just glad it's still together, but I believe it's like an, an old Pontiac or something. Uh, and I figured uh, some of you uh, older guys and gals would get a uh, kick out of seeing this thing. It's uh, one, one of the best features of the Robocop film it isn't even the cyborg law enforcer, but his weird car, the 6000 SUX. Uh, the 80s was a decade in which action packed and sci fi movies dominated. There was cute blockbusters, blah, blah, blah. And uh, no, we don't need to see any of that. Let's see where this thing ended up. Okay. Actually, I guess this was a uh, reproduction that somebody had uh, created uh, uh, just as a tribute to uh, what actually happened. There was actually two of the cars that were on the movie set. In this article, Auto Week says, believes that production wrecked the two 6,000 SUX vehicles uh, in the first movie. So, and I, I guess they blew them up. So they're gone. The originals are gone. This is actually a a uh, uh another model that they somebody recreated afterwards but and it is not a pontiac i thought it is a 1977 oldsmobile cutlass supreme Woo! look at that baby it's a beauty check that out let's check out this one yeah see this is uh actually i guess maybe that's one of the originals and maybe they did uh or no this was this was back in the day i'm not too exactly sure that the article doesn't go into uh, too much detail on where it was at. Anyway, guys, I just thought I'd share the daily dose of internet fun for cars and, and guns to you. And uh, let me know what you think about the uh, old Cadillac converter guys uh, getting their just desserts. You think that's cool? Or do you go, you know what, maybe went too a, a little too far? Or um, I already know how what your responses are going to be. but. I gotta, I gotta ask. There might be a few of you out there. there. Ooh, ooh. Uh, but anyway, or, and do you like the old 77 Cutlass there? Uh, would you drive it? <laughs> um, and uh, actually, I guess, yeah. Would you uh, add anything to it? Like, uh, like kind of like a James Bond car or something? I don't know. Put some oil slick things up the back. It's already got, uh, looks like Jeff in the back. Woo! Thing's awesome. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Go ahead and like, subscribe and comment and share and all that good stuff. And uh, I will probably, I guess, see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.